Hey, some say the Lord Jesus they believe in is the true God, that anyone else is not the true God. What does belief in Almighty God involve? Yes, please tell us this. Okay. They believe in the Lord and that the Lord Jesus is Christ. That's correct. Christ is God incarnate and is the real God. Huh. God has done three stages of His work to bring salvation. One stage is done in each age. For every age of His work, God has a name. In the age of law, God was Jehovah. Age of grace, He was the Lord Jesus. Now, in the age of kingdom, God's name is Almighty God. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is only one God, but why has He had a different name during each age? There is some mystery. We'll discuss it later. What we must know is this. All three stages are done by the one God. Though God has a different name, all of His work is done by one Spirit, the Holy Spirit. That's right. So then, Jehovah, the Lord Jesus, and Almighty God are the same God. Yes. The Lord Jesus is the appearance of Jehovah, and Almighty God is the appearance of the Lord Jesus. Regardless of how God's name might change, it's the same God who does the work. In the Age of Grace, the Lord Jesus predicted He would return in the last days. The Lord Jesus has come again. He is Almighty God. That's right. Almighty God's uttered truth and done the judgment in the last days to purify and transform the people, to save them from their sins and bring them to God's kingdom and to end this dark, evil old age. Oh, I see. Hmm. We read Almighty God's words and understood some truths, and now we know. Why the world is so dark and evil, and why humans are so corrupt, why people live with so much suffering and affliction, what tricks Satan uses to corrupt humanity, the essence of terrible things like online gaming, why society makes and promotes, popularizes online gaming and the harm it's done to people these days, especially our kids. Right. Almighty God's words give us clarity in this way. Please read it to us. Okay. Can I do it? Sure. Turn to page 1187. Almighty God says, Mankind has developed through tens of thousands of years of history to get where they are today. However, the mankind of my original creation has long ago sunk into degeneracy. They are already not what I intended, and thus people, the way I see them, are already undeserving of the name mankind. They are rather the scum of mankind, looted by Satan, and the rotten walking corpses which Satan lives in and is clothed with. People do not in the least believe in my existence, nor do they welcome my arrival. From when man first had social sciences, the mind of man was occupied by science and knowledge. Then, science and knowledge became tools for the ruling of mankind, and there was no longer sufficient room for man to worship God, and no more favorable conditions for the worship of God. The position of God sunk ever lower in the heart of man. A world in man's heart with no place for God is dark, empty, without hope. And so arose many social scientists, historians, and politicians to express theories of social science, the theory of human evolution, and other theories that contravene the truth that God created man to fill the heart and mind of man. And in this way, those who believe that God created everything become ever fewer, and those who believe in the theory of evolution become ever greater in number. More and more people treat records of the work of God and His words during the Old Testament age as myths and legends. In their hearts, people become indifferent to the dignity and greatness of God, to the tenet that God exists and holds dominion over all things. The survival of mankind and the fate of countries and nations are no longer 
important to them. Man lives in a hollow world only concerned with eating, drinking, and the pursuit of pleasure. These words are well put. They're wonderfully expressed. They are. Thank God. Let's watch a video with God's utterances. Okay. okay. Satan uses these social trends to lure people, one step at a time, into a nest of devils, so that people caught up in social trends unknowingly advocate money and material desires, as well as advocate wickedness and violence. Once these things have entered man's heart, what then does man become? Man becomes the devil, Satan. This is because of what psychological leaning in the heart of man. What does man advocate? Man begins to like wickedness and violence. They do not like beauty or goodness, much less peace. People are not willing to live the simple life of normal humanity, but instead wish to enjoy high status and great wealth, to revel in the pleasures of the flesh, sparing no effort to satisfy their own flesh, with no restrictions, no bonds to hold them back. In other words, doing whatever they desire. So when man has become immersed in these kinds of trends, can the knowledge that you have learned help you get free? Can the traditional culture and superstitions you know help you cast off this dire predicament? Can the traditional morals and traditional ceremony that man comprehends help them exercise restraint? Take the three-character classic, for example. Can it help people pull their feet out of the quicksand of these trends? No, it cannot. In this way, man becomes more and more what? More and more evil, arrogant, condescending, selfish, and malicious. There is no longer any affection between people, no longer any love between family members, no longer any understanding between relatives and friends. Human relations have become full of cheating, full of violence. Every single person wants to use cheating means and violent methods to live in amongst their fellow man. They lie, cheat, and become violent in order to seize their own livelihood. They win their positions and obtain their own profits using violence, and they do anything they want using violent and evil ways. Is this humanity not terrifying? One after another, all these trends carry an evil influence that continually degenerates man that lowers their morals and their quality of character more and more, to the extent that we can even say the majority of people now have no integrity, no humanity. Neither do they have any conscience, much less any reason. So what are these trends? You cannot see these trends with the naked eye. When the wind of a trend blows through, perhaps only a small number of people will become the trendsetters. They start off doing this kind of thing, accepting this kind of idea or this kind of perspective. The majority of people, however, in the midst of their unawareness, will still be continually infected, assimilated, and attracted by this kind of trend until they all unknowingly and involuntarily accept it and are all submerged in and controlled by it. For man who is not of sound body and mind, who never knows what is truth, who cannot tell the difference between positive and negative things, these kinds of trends, one after another, make them all willingly accept these trends, the life view, the life philosophies and values that come from Satan. 
They accept what Satan tells them on how to approach life and the way to live that Satan bestows on them. They have not the strength, neither do they have the ability, much less the awareness to resist. Earliest mankind was in the hands of God, but because of Satan's temptation and corruption, man was bound up by Satan and fell in the hands of the evil one. Thus, Satan became the object to be defeated in the work of God's management. Because Satan took possession of man, and because man is the stock of all God's management, if man is to be saved, then he must be snatched back from the hands of Satan, which is to say that man must be taken back after having been held captive by Satan. Satan is defeated through changes in man's old disposition that restore his original sense. And in this way, man, who has been taken captive, can be snatched back from the hands of Satan. If man is freed from the influence and bondage of Satan, Satan will be shamed, man will ultimately be taken back, and Satan will be defeated. And because man has been freed from the dark influence of Satan, man will become the spoils of all of this battle, and Satan will become the object that will be punished once this battle has finished after which the entire work of mankind's salvation will have been completed. How do you feel after hearing these passages from Almighty God? These words are very realistic and profound. It's our first time to hear such things. He's right. No one else has been able to voice such words. They're very deep. Mm -hmm. Almighty God's utterances are all very true. They reveal the miserable condition of the human world. Mm. Just look at society. Do normal relationships even exist? Is there any real love? Not anymore. Hmm. How many tell the truth these days? How many are honest? People now are full of lies, tricks, and deception. Does anyone still talk about morals? They don't. People now don't even have a conscience. I've even heard the phrase, how much is conscience worth? That's, That's right. right. They want fame and profit, even killing each other for it. They say that the human heart is treacherous, and that is true. Right. Won't you say living in this world is tiring and full of suffering? It's full of suffering. Mm. It's tiring. Mm. In our society, dealing with people is dangerous. If you aren't careful, someone might get offended by you voicing the truth. It could result in calamity. For example, if reporters tell the truth, they can be charged with selling state secrets. Many journalists have been locked up in jail for telling the truth. Some have even been killed for it. Some who've been wronged seek help from officials only to be beaten. Those who protest silently are also charged with crimes. Dissidents who speak to the Central Committee are charged with toppling the regime. And those who are Christians are charged with disrupting the social order. It's true. So many Christians have been monitored, seized, and arrested, all because of their belief in God and some who were arrested have been tortured or even killed. Mm, yes. And the officials are greedy and corrupt. The bureaucracy is full of dangers. At every level of government, they plot against each other. They can't coexist. And the people, they have no power. In order to just survive, they try to curry favor to not get taken advantage of. It is difficult for them. That's right. Yeah. In our society, regular people can't survive. That's right. 
The world has become dark and evil, but no one can see through to the source of this evil. We know because we've read God's words. The world is getting darker and worse, and morals are getting corrupt. This is the result of Satan in power, deceiving and corrupting humanity. Yes. For thousands of years, Satan the devil has constantly used such harmful teachings as atheism, evolution, and materialism to corrupt and poison humanity, to harm people with the cancer of atheism from a young age. The many lies of devils and great people have become popular wisdom, a way of life, poisoning the minds of generations. Exactly. For example, heaven destroys those who are not for themselves. Those with brains rule over those with brawn. Man dies for money, birds for food. Money makes the world go round. I've even heard a real man has venom, as well as one's destiny is in his own hands. Knowledge can change your fate. Scholars are at the top of society. Man can conquer heaven and earth. The world has no God, and there's no such thing as a savior. These venomous, wicked lies from Satan have corrupted and poisoned humanity. Mm. Satan's philosophies and logic and principles have been rooted in people's hearts, causing them to grow more arrogant and wicked, murderous and crooked and sly. Yeah. Satan even uses science, knowledge, and fame and fortune to corrupt people. Satan uses technology, like internet games, to poison people. And pornography, violence, money, trickery, and other power plays in games to entice and trap them. This has led to a great expansion of humanity's ambitions and desires, making them more like ghosts than people. Hmm, right. Humans have been deeply corrupted by Satan so that they all resist God. They've seen God as the enemy and even nailed him to the cross. They've offended God's disposition and been cursed by God. This has led to disasters of greater scale and they have lost God's blessings. It's the result of Satan's corruption of humanity. It is. It is. Now God has come for man's salvation. God expressed truths to purify and save humanity. If we accept God's work and read His words every day, we can understand many truths and see through Satan's ruses. If we all live according to God's word, we can break away from Satan's corruption. We can start on the right path of life and get God's blessings. And I agree. Without God's salvation, we'd live by Satan's philosophy and we wouldn't even be human. Like I used to be. Before I believed, I read a few books and had knowledge. I was arrogant, as if I was stronger than others. Even though I knew this world is sinister and that people just tried to gain benefits without affection, I lived according to Satan's philosophies. I thought they were useful. Unconsciously, I became more deceitful, a hypocrite. It was the consequence of Satan's corruption only after I read Almighty God's utterances did I learn the truth and what life is. In the past, I thought knowledge could change a person's fate, but looking back, I was wrong. So much human knowledge was produced by Satan's corruption and venom, such as atheism, evolution, materialism, so on. This knowledge is full of Satan's poison. The more people know and accept this, the more corrupt they are. It's harder for them to accept the truth, and they likely see God as the enemy. Now I see clearly, there's one way of solving man's corruption, one solution, and that is to accept God's work, read his utterances, fellowship the truth. Once people know the truth and admit God's word as truth, they'll see things based on the truth. They'll be purified of satanic disposition and rid of Satan's evil fallacies. Only those people can be purified and saved by God. Hmm. Reading Almighty God's words lets you understand the truth of things. You saved yourselves pain and trouble. That's so great. Mm -hmm. 
If we can get our son to believe in God, once he knows the truth, he can break his addiction. Then he'll have a new direction in life. And we won't need to worry about bad examples. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were right to invite you over to talk about faith in God. Thank, Thank God. God. After listening to Almighty God's utterances and your testimonies, I feel our son Xing Wan has hoped to get better. Thank, Thank God. God. Often, I used to ask myself, why can't kids end their internet addictions? Yeah. Why is this world more corrupt by the day? Why is every generation worse than the last? What could be going on? To look for the answers, I read many books about society's problems and listened to lectures on the internet explaining social issues. But no one could say for sure the source of the problems. Yeah. Hearing Almighty God's words, I understand. All this is the result of Satan corrupting people. Mm -hmm. The only way to know the truth is to believe in God and read His word. Then we can see through the truth of Satan's corruption and break away from Satan.